That's right. We are live from the Lady Lex in a way mm -hmm. to honor our veterans here in the coastal. But you know, on Veterans Day, yeah. we have to think about our older veterans, our veterans who served in World War II, the greatest generation. And what's sad is that we are losing more and more of them every day. We certainly are. Katya, can you imagine at the beginning of World War II, we had 16 million service members from the United States right. serving. That number? is down to 300,000, maybe even less than that right now. Well, one man is on a journey, however, to make sure that their sacrifice is always remembered. One, two, three. Here's your big smile right here. Jeff Reese <laughs> is in a race against time. Good. Telling stories. Where were you born? Born in Poovville, Texas. And taking photos. It's history, it's living history. Before it's too late. While I'm able to, to capture it. Thinking about those movie stars and. He's getting first-hand accounts from World War II veterans. We can't reach all of them. I'm glad I can reach those who I am getting to. To permanently. See how that looks. Record their legacy. So you were in charge of these other 16 drivers? Uh, we saw a lot of things that, that are hard to explain. Probably if I didn't, you know, their story wouldn't go much past their family. For Jeff. I didn't serve in the military. Couple more. It's personal. I'm not a veteran, but I have a respect and a love for veterans because of what they did. Jeff's father was an army paratrooper during Korea. He lost uncles who served. His brother and son are Marines. Chin down slightly. There you go. I can do something to give back and uh, thank the veterans who did do so much for us. Jeff is so thankful he's traveling all across America, funded only by donations. His mission preserving the sacrifices made by local heroes like Bob Batterson, who survived Pearl Harbor almost 80 years ago. We were back here. The, the planes came right by us. And Jose Mendez, who fought in Germany. We just didn't talk about it. And I'm talking to some of our friends feel the same way. Yeah. Until I've heard a lot like that and other war heroes like Preston Grantham. If I was in a war zone, I would patch up the bullet holes. I, that, I understand that. You know, a lot of planes coming yeah. in that yeah. are shot up. Yeah. We are losing these veterans by the hundreds every day. That's what makes it so urgent for me. And that's why Jeff started his project, Portraits of Honor, Two years ago. That looks good. Veterans get their portraits for free. I don't know how many I'll be able to meet. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'll just get to as many as I can. His race against time is daunting. We're in the final few years of that being able to, to happen. Oh, there's one. You want that one? They say an old soldier never dies. He just fades away. Thanks to Jeff Reese, now at least our memories of them won't fade away too. Such a good story, Pat. And you know, Thanks. those pictures that you were showing at yeah. the very end there, those are seven of our World War II veterans here from the Coastal Bend. There are more yeah. here, but he was able to tell the story of those seven. Gives you a sense of pride. Yeah, sure, From of back course. here at home yeah. to see their stories will be memorialized right. forever and ever. Sure. Uh, so Jeff is going to continue his important journey telling all those stories of World War II veterans. He's got a special trip coming up. The 80th anniversary of Pearl Harbor is coming oh. up in December. He will be there at Pearl Harbor. Wow. Hey, by the way, so you're wondering how does he continue to do this mission? I was asking that and yeah. there are several ways, right? I mean, yeah. this he does this out of his own pocket. Out of his own pocket, but he uses a GoFundMe account. Mm -hmm. He set up a GoFundMe account and if you would like to contribute, if you'd like to donate, just go to my story, go to christv.com backslash veterans and focus, find the story and you're going to find a link to Jeff's GoFundMe page.